sisters. Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 and today we got a detailed look at these bad boys right here. This is Bram Black's latest lifestyle model, the no-name Shadow. Now these guys utilize the same tooling that we saw on their previous lifestyle model, the Raven. However, these materials are way nicer. I wish that I would have known that these were coming out. I probably did know and I just forgot because I would have saved for these instead of the Raven, instead of getting both. But these guys right here have a completely knitted upper, which I think is awesome. And then the heel is very similar to the J crossover too with a synthetic overlay. They fit true to size. They're super comfortable. They come with these really cool rope laces. They're very soft and feel kind of like a fleece blanket. If if I'm gonna describe them as anything. We got fleece blanket laces right here, man. I'm just saying. Now these guys are super comfortable, super lightweight. I love the cushion on these. It's the only thing to me that compares to Boost as far as casual use goes. I would not run in this. I like Boost better for that. But in terms of casual lifestyle performance, and I don't even know if that's performance, but as far as casual use is concerned, these guys are the only thing that I can wear long-term all day long without any issues other than Boost. Oh, and uh, 360 Max Zoom from Nike, just saying. Now, the only thing that I do not like about these is that the tongue is actually like one with the actual upper, so when I went to put these on, there was no stretch right there. I am able to slide my foot in, no problem, but I would have liked a little bit of, you know, give right here. If you have like a really big foot or a, a Shrek foot or something like that, a Hulk foot, you might not be able to stick them in as comfortably. You might need like a shoehorn or something like that. But other than that, I don't have any complaints. Now the inside of the shoe is lined with a fabric, so the woven is not as stretchy as what you would find on say like a Nike Flyknit or an Adidas Prime Knit. So they're a little bit more structured than that, but they are just as soft and uh, forgiving, I guess you could say. So equally as comfortable, just a little bit more structure to them. Now this colorway here is the olive colorway, but they look very like, like gray-like although I am wearing a gray shirt and I mean it's still pretty similar however this is the kind of olive that I like I don't think I have any olive shoes around me right now I think the ones that I did have were from brand black they were like a really dark green and I gave those to Jaren just because I, I don't like that color but this is the type of olive that I can get down with it's kind of like a sage green so a very very light uh, olive or whatever but yeah I absolutely love this shoe Again, super comfortable, super lightweight, true to size. Reasonably priced as well at $90. If you're interested, I will leave links in the description box below. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. Let me know what you guys think about these guys. And until next time, guys, have a good one. What's going on guys? It's Jaren from WearTesters.com and everyone has been wondering what Nike's gonna do with Kobe's signature line now that he's retired from the game of basketball, but it looks like we have a little bit of information on what the swoosh has planned next. Japanese sneaker blogger, you... So these guys feature very interesting color blocking. As you can see, it's very tonal. You got a tonal upper, all black, tonal tooling, all white, and together, this is clean, dude. Like, this is a clean ass shoe. I don't care what anybody says, there's no legitimate way that you can hate on these.